now from Washington, D.C., Margaret Brennan, moderator of Face the Nation. Margaret, welcome. Thank you for being here. So how did the indictments in the Russia investigation impact the president's meeting Monday with Vladimir Putin? Well, this indictment, this 12-person list of Russian military intelligence officers, part of the GRU, uh, really was something that came as a shock. The timing was not expected here in Washington, but also possibly constructive when it comes to that meeting you just said will happen on Monday between Vladimir Putin and President Trump. It does sort of force the issue to the top of the agenda. Uh, does President Trump confront Vladimir Putin about what now is the conclusion of the special counsel uh, as well as U.S. intelligence, that this influence campaign was conducted by part of the Russian state, something that Vladimir Putin to this day continues to deny. Uh, so we may not know what is said in that private meeting between Presidents Putin and Trump, uh, but it does raise the stakes for whether the president will raise this and confront him uh, about the consequences of continuing to meddle, which is something U.S. intelligence says is still happening. Well, Margaret, the president was asked about this earlier today when he held that news conference with the British prime minister, and he said that he would talk to Putin about meddling. But he seems intent on having a good relationship with the Russian president in spite of Russian meddling. He says that he doesn't view Russia as an enemy. With today's news and the indictments today, uh, is there anybody questioning that? Well, uh, few within the national security establishment question whether Russia is an ally or an adversary. They would say absolutely an adversary. And in fact, President Trump's own head of U.S. intelligence, Dan Coats at the DNI, says that Russia is actively trying to undermine the November congressional races, the midterm races. That is not something an ally does. Uh, but President Trump's emphasis here seems to be that it's all different with him, and he believes personal chemistry can make the difference with Vladimir Putin. There's the question, does the president believe his own intelligence uh, community? Does he believe this is a fact pattern, or does he dismiss it as a conspiracy theory, which is what the Kremlin is calling these findings by the special counsel? But we do know President Trump said he'll bring it up. He also wants to talk about a number of other things, including uh, nuclear arms and the question there, will the president confront Vladimir Putin about cheating on those existing deals uh, when it comes to nuclear arms control, which is something that the State Department and the Pentagon says is ongoing? Margaret Brennan, moderator of Face the Nation, a lot for you to talk about this weekend. Thank you so much for joining us. And you can join Margaret for Face the Nation. Her guests this week include Representative Trey Gowdy and Joe Drowley. That's Sunday at 1030 right here on CBS4.